I think the concern I have is that if I am famous, um, that someone's going to blame me for what's happening in Wuhan. And like, I mean, it could have been something that escaped from the lab or someone could have done it intentionally. Someone that follows me and agrees with me or someone can do it that doesn't agree with me. And I'm surprised it hasn't happened before that someone used a bioweapon. But um, I'm concerned someone's going to blame me. And um, I'm always concerned that people will blame me for everything. Um, but okay, so when I invented this surge protector with a remote control, the original idea was to have an alarm clock and it makes the receptacles work like certain receptacles at a certain time because I wanted a sunrise alarm clock because I wanted it to turn on my light. Um, because I, I wanted, because you have photons, they're, they're like photoreceptors that are like light receptors and it's hard to wake up in the dark and, um, that's why I wanted to have people wake up in the light. And then it turned out someone had already invented it. Sharp, Sharper Image sold uh, sunrise alarm clocks, but um, no one had invented the surge protector with the remote control. But I wanted an alarm clock in it too. So the point I'm trying to make, even though maybe this is a bad invention and the Venox Amis are a good invention, um, but um, at least I come up with ideas and... Um, I realize it's like a really complicated world when you realize that like someone could release a bioweapon that they made themselves and then it could start a war and you never know who did it. But it could have it, like what I'm hearing is it's from nature. But because um, usually it crosses over from an animal, but no one really knows right now. And I feel like no one really understands the situation. Um, there are just too many people in China to keep track of. So you can blame the Chinese government all you want, but it's they actually have a lot harder job to do than you realize.